Healthcare tech company Lyric is in the simplification business. It has a vision, it says, to create an AI-first platform right at the intersection of fintech and healthcare. Now, the idea is to reduce healthcare complexity, increase transparency, and humanize the power of AI to deliver simplified consumer and patient solutions to both health plans and providers. I'm Andrew Wilson, and I sat down with Lyric CEO Rajiv Ranaki to talk about the future of healthcare. So Rajiv, great to see you. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. First of all, why don't you give us an overview of Lyric as a company, what you're all about and, and why, you, why you exist at all? Yeah. Well, thanks for having me, Andrew. Uh, so Lyric is a, a payments accuracy platform and we serve over 110 uh, health insurance companies in the U.S and uh, we help them uh, simplify you know, the business of care. So if you're saying, well, what's a platform? Why do we serve 100 plus customers? Uh, why do they need a payment accuracy solution? Well, it turns out the US healthcare system is very complex. And uh, you know, for, the, for those of you that haven't uh, experienced healthcare in the US or are not familiar with healthcare and how it's administered in the US, uh, imagine if you will, if you were to go to lunch today and um, order a salad uh, and, and, and your main course. And then you walk away from that meal not knowing how much it costs. And some weeks or months later, you get a bill for your salad and you have a bill for your, for your main course. You have no recollection what you ordered, whether it's right or wrong. And if you, in fact, um, ordered anything extra. Uh, so that's, in, in summary, what happens in the US. So a patient goes, sees a doctor, walks away from that, that encounter. And then some weeks or months later, a bill shows up and uh, there's a circuitous process between the care provider, the insurance company, and the consumer uh, to get that all settled. Uh, so Lyric exists to, to simplify all of that, and we've got a, a multi-year plan in order to, to do so. Uh, but that's the, the reason for our existence. So if I was to ask you about the vision and the momentum of yeah. Lyric, I would say perhaps you'd talk to me about clarity and control. Yeah, so our vision is that all of that, you know, uh, the, the waste that I described, translates to about a trillion dollars of waste in the, in the U.S. economy. You know, so four trillion dollars spent on healthcare uh, and a trillion dollars of waste uh, for no good reason. And so I think with, with our artificial intelligence first platform, uh, our view is that we can bring together multiple disparate solutions onto a common platform and ultimately make it transparent for consumers to understand why they're getting the care that they are, how much it's going to cost. And then as you walk away from, from that visit or that hospital stay, you know exactly what, what you're on the hook to pay for and, and get it settled in real time and make it easy for care providers and insurance companies and consumers all to participate in healthcare more equitably and more affordably. And over the long run, um, make healthcare much more predictive and proactive and personalized. So I imagine this involves all sorts of new technologies, but I also imagine there's a fair amount of artificial intelligence making its way into the work that you do. We've been using AI for quite some time. Uh, and the reason that we're able to do so is that in serving over 100 customers in the US, uh, they collectively represent about 181 million lives in the US. So substantial amounts of data, which enables us to have a foundation for creating uh, uh, varied and interesting algorithms around all kinds of patterns of care. You know, so that's one thing that, that we're looking at. Uh, but that technology alone is not enough. Uh, we also need uh, better ways in which to create interoperability between data, simplify and eliminate quality issues in data, make data more accessible, more secure, more private. So we're using technologies like blockchain for that. We use uh, concepts like zero trust security in order to make the, the data more secure and private. Uh, but if you put all that together, artificial intelligence, blockchain, um, advanced cybersecurity measures, then ultimately we can deliver on our vision, which is to understand what might happen in a person's future healthcare journey, not just react to what's already happened, but to say that uh, someone that's got a condition now is gonna progress in a certain pattern over the course of time. And in knowing that, create the interventions that are necessary to keep them healthy uh, as opposed to just reacting and taking care of them, you know, when they're sick. I mean, it might be a foolish question, but is this kind of, is all the work that you're doing, is that landing well with your clients, with the healthcare companies and also with potential patients? 
Absolutely. We've got a nearly 100% retention rate with our customers. Our um, average customer has been around with us for nearly 10 years. Uh, so that means that um, not only are solutions creating great value for our customers, uh, but through um, all the third-party research that we do, the customer satisfaction with our solutions is off the charts. So based on that trust and that track record, uh, we're embarking on our next phase of our journey. And we are super excited about you know, what's possible. One thing certainly that we're hearing this year in Davos is about how AI is, if you like, infiltrating its way into all sorts of organizations, how they operate, how they do business. Are we looking at a situation where AI surpasses ultimately the internet in your field in healthcare? I think the impact of AI could be far greater than the internet. I think I almost think of the internet as kind of the foundation of the, of the modern economy. Uh, and if, if you kind of think of AI, I think of the, it as the exponential you know, to the internet. Uh, and I think AI is, is the ultimate human superpower. And I think it, it has the ability to transform every aspect of our life, some of which we're already seeing. And then there's a big debate about whether AI ultimately replaces uh, humans and what the impact for you know, jobs might be. Uh, and that's a topic for another day. But you know, I, for one, think that with AI at our side, augmenting what we do, our creativity, our imagination, our perseverance, and all the intangibles that make us human, uh, humans and AI, I think ultimately will have a dramatic impact on, on every business, every aspect of our life. And in healthcare in particular, I think the ability for us to improve longevity, improve the wellness of, of uh, humanity, and ultimately make healthcare more affordable, more equitable, more accessible to everyone on the planet, I think AI has, absolutely has the power to do that. Reggie, pleasure talking to you. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks for having me.